Hi Taurus, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David, and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of March 2023. This is going to be for any Taurus looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate, I'll have other ones coming for you soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe, hit notifications, comments are much appreciated, it helps grow the channel. Okay, so Taurus, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus is out there, plus cross watchers, you're most definitely welcome as well. Let's figure out what's coming up for love for Taurus, please, universe. Let's get some messages of love, and we're going to find out some answers about you and your person. What is coming up for love for Taurus and their person, please? Okay, here we go. So, Taurus, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You're attracting romantic love. Okay. Okay. How exciting. This could be someone new, of course. Could be someone you're already building something with. Let's get into it, okay? All right. Always a chill vibe here, guys. We don't take ourselves too seriously here, okay? Let's just uh, have a good time and enjoy the reading. And Taurus, I am also uh, Sun Taurus as well here. So right back at you, okay? <laughs> and I hope you guys are having a good March so far. Weather's been kind of dry here, but hopefully it's getting warmer and the snow melts at some point. Okay. All right. So enough about that. Taurus, let's see what's going up for you for the month of March, please. Universe, please give me clear messages here for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus, please. Okay. Here we go, Taurus. Starting for March. Let's see what we have for you. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We'll get into it in a second. We have the Temperance card next. Strong Sagittarius energy coming through, okay? And lastly, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck, which is your theme for the reading, is the Empress card. So you guys are doing really well this month. Some of you are taking care of yourself. Some of you are really getting into your groove now, okay? You're all about, you know, working out, looking great, dieting, whatever it is that you're doing, you're getting into your groove and attracting people. Just sending high vibrations here, okay, out to the universe. Let's see what else we have here. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Hanged Man. Okay, so some of you may be still stalling. You're stalling this month about something, about an individual or about connecting to individuals here. I have the Queen of Pentacles, which can mean Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be represented by yourself as well. We'll get into that after we clarify. Temperance card shows me that possibly you're waiting for the right time for something. The universe is saying in due time for you. Something will happen. Are you patient enough to wait this out? Or are you rushing things too soon? Okay. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Someone wants to speak the truth or say something to someone. There's either a delay here or someone's not able to express that or communicate here for this new beginning to happen. Someone may be afraid, but we'll take a look. Let's get some clarifiers on these cards for you. Universe, let's find out more about the situation here for Taurus, please. Let's get some clarifiers here for the situation for Taurus, please. Starting off with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus. King of Swords. Seven of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. This person wants to come towards you or communicate with you, but they seem to be confused here. So they may have other options. Or with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I'm seeing that they're starting to wind down their options towards your energy, okay? Knight of Pentacles, they want to come towards you, but they're afraid. They want to communicate something with you here with the King of Swords. You may find this person really engaging and really smart intuitive okay they may have their shit together all right let's take a look at the temperance card for you 
so they don't want to come towards you they're having some sort of thoughts here what is going on here you're definitely still attracting maybe they're unsure about you because of uh how amazing you are really and they feel like they possibly can't meet up with your energy all right temperance card please next for taurus temperance card for taurus please whoops these cards tend to uh be very light so they fly sometimes but we'll try to stop that from happening okay all right temperance card next here for taurus please here we go. Temperance card for Taurus. My Tauruses. Let's find out what's going on for you. So Temperance, please. Clarified by the Nine of Cups. Wow. Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this seems, this is going to seem pretty easy to you when it happens. But there's happiness involved here and victory as well with the Six of Wands. A lot of you are going to find yourself in a position where... You have the upper uh, control here over this relationship or connection here. You have the upper hand. So whether or not you're the one who initiates it, um, whatever the universe is telling you that, go ahead and make this love offer or connection because you deserve happiness. And whatever feeling you have inside here about this person is very much true. And it almost seems too easy here with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like... It's not hard it's not hard to be with this person. It flows really well. It feels natural to you. It feels makes you feel grounded here, Taurus. Just like yourself. So you appreciate that energy here. So there'll be a time here. The universe is sending to you. You'll know when that time is. But I'm seeing it happening. Sooner than later, because of the easy energy coming through here with the Eight of Pentacles. But let's see what else is next, okay? What about this truth here about the Ace of Swords in reverse, please? So you also have to be reminded to enjoy this moment fully. And the universe is telling you with the Empress card here, you're going to be doing you more than anything. And there will be people here coming toward you. There'll be people here that you want to connect. But you're waiting for the right time when things are a bit easier. Perhaps some of you could be busy at work as well. And that's something that's on your mind. You may have some projects coming through here in March or it's a busy time for you. And so you choose not to focus on it right now, but you already know your plan of attack, I guess. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's find out about the Ace of Swords in reverse, please. For Taurus. Ace of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Four of Wands in reverse. So this is about a commitment between two people here. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles represented by Air and Earth, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I'm seeing here between the two people here, someone wants to communicate. And I see the King of Pentacles as your energy, of course. Your not noticing how this person's trying to come toward you here with the Queen of Swords. They want to communicate something with you. They want to share something with you. Four of Wands. One of you's not ready for a, a relationship, though. Is that you, Taurus? Perhaps there's some healing that may need to be done here still. Or maybe you don't see this person as someone that you would marry, but someone that you'd be with. I'm not too sure what that means, but for some of you, that could be the case. There may be something about them that throws you off about your expectations. And so someone feels that energy from you and they're scared to confront. Or for you, you may be fearful that they don't want a relationship here. And so even though this person is engaging in you, Taurus, you may find that they're not the right one for you. Now, again, you're attracting, you're enjoying the moment fully. No one's saying you're hooking up right now, okay? But things are moving for you and there's energies coming in and out of your life here. But especially with the temperance here, all in due timing, there will be some sort of connection or victory with a connection here where you'll feel very proud of that's going to come through very easily to you, okay? Now this could be another connection here, but I'm still seeing it maybe as the same person here. 
there are feelings here for you, Taurus, that you want to communicate with this other person or they want to communicate with you and you're not being able to put those points across, okay? Or maybe there's expectations that you have that you feel like they can't meet and therefore you're writing this person off, vice versa. All right, let's find out more about what's going on here. Let's find out, sorry, my microphone's just flying down my shoulder, <laughs> excuse me. It's gonna be a little roughly. I don't like it when it goes down my shoulder here, okay. All right, we're gonna do a quick shuffle again for each. Let's find out more about what is going on with this person in particular and how they feel towards you. I may not do clarifiers for these, but we'll do some quick reads just to see what's going on. So can I know more about the person here in question for Taurus, please? How do they feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about you, Taurus, for the month of March? What is going on here for Taurus, please? Let's give it more of a shuffle here. Some more shuffling, please, for Taurus. We're not taking flyers out today, okay? We're going to do it with the cutting today. No flyers, but they love to fly today. Curious, that was the Wheel of Fortune. Something good may be coming up for you, Taurus. I don't know. Okay. One more shuffle. Taurus, please, another person. How does this person feel about you? Taurus, this person, thank you. All right, here we go. So we have the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Strength in reverse, and we have the Four of, sorry, the Nine of Wands. And then bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Coins. Somebody here, this person is still holding on to something within themselves here. They're not moving forward. They're holding back their emotions, perhaps even. They feel, like I said here, that they're not good enough for you. Yeah, and they haven't realized this connection just yet. They realize the energy between the two of you, but they almost are afraid, just like I said earlier. Now the Hierophant in reverse, this person may have come out of a connection or a relationship prior to the past, something that was committed that perhaps may have ended here. For others, okay, they've had to do things very differently in their lives and they want to approach you differently in a very unique way that's non-traditional here that I'm seeing here, okay? Or you represent something that they're not normally used to here, okay? They see you in a different light. Strength card in reverse, just like I said, they're scared to come forward towards you. Holding on to that energy here with the Four of Pentacles. They're scared to come forward. They're scared to put themselves out there. Afraid of rejection here, okay? So they're keeping more of their energy in, but they're giving you a little bit, just enough for you to feel this kind of draw towards them, okay? Now the Nine of Wands. See, they could be slightly defensive about things, but they could be also trying to work towards making the connection or building the courage to, but it's gonna take time. And they may be a little standoffish. They may come in and out in your life here, um, but this person means well. And sometimes, you know, this Nine of Wands is telling me that there will be a victory some at some point here. You know, they, they put in enough work into this connection that they're not going to give it up anytime soon. So know that this person does have good intentions. They just come off as a little bit fearful here in this situation, okay? So let's find out what the outcome is about with you and your person here for you, Taurus. Universe, tell me more about the outcome here for Taurus, please. Actually, let's use a different deck here for that. Universe, tell me more about what is coming up here for the outcome. Tell me the outcome for Taurus, please, for the month of March and onwards. Universe, tell me more about the outcome for Taurus, please. Outcome for Taurus, please. Okay, here we go. We have the Three of Swords, Taurus. Hmm. Someone's heart will be broken. Didn't see that coming. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this was stressing you out or there was a lot of tension here in this situation. Somebody here couldn't handle it anymore. Or they don't want to handle it anymore is what I'm seeing here. King of Cups in reverse in regards to this connection with this individual. Could be water coming through. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. 
Somebody has anxious energy here, self-sabotage, okay. Um, finally, being able to break free from a situation here. Oh, yeah. Some healing involved here. Yeah, the high priestess. Somebody knew this was coming all along. So it could have been you. The outcome can very much be that you have to separate from this individual here because it's straining you here with the Ten of Wands in reverse, okay? And I know you care about this person and maybe they do care about you, but maybe this break or this separation may be something that's needed for some of you. Now, this could be you or them wanting to separate, but I'm feeling like it's more your energy because of what they've put you through or what you're going through right now. I don't know what it is exactly. It's different for all of you, but there's a lot that you can't handle right now and it's, it's a burden on you, okay? Let's find out the outcome here. I mean, sorry, let's get advice. We already did the outcome there. So Taurus, that changed a little bit here for you. Now again, this resonates with you. Please take it. And if it doesn't, leave it alone for another time. Okay. So any advice here for Taurus in this situation, please? And I'm going to draw some hidden tricks as well. Let's get some advice here for Taurus, please. Universe, please give me some advice here for Taurus. In this situation so we know that there's a separation perhaps coming through here some of you will have your heart broken they will hurt you and you're gonna withdraw so what is going on here the chariot the page of cups and the nine of wands in reverse bottom of the deck three of wands in reverse universe's advice is not to jump forward too much right now in this situation. You could still be dealing with this. The chariot is guiding you towards following your heart here. Some of you will find a different path or a different challenge here with this individual here. You may want to continue on with this person. Page of Cups. But you're sick of kind of this flirty energy you want things to progress here you want things to move forward here with the chariot here could be dealing with cancer nine of wands in reverse you're done hiding about this now you you don't like hiding anything about yourself here taurus i feel like there's still some sort of wall that this person puts up that they're not really engaging with you here and they may give you some things here and there but you want real love. You want to move forward into a commitment here, okay? And maybe this person isn't too serious and this is something that you may start to realize yourself. So you may be turning up the energy here for yourself, trying to really get this person to love you. And if it doesn't work, you're going to back away. Nine of Wands in reverse. No longer putting in that effort in here, okay? You're not being passive about this anymore in any sense the three of wands here in reverse means it's hard for you to really look forward to situations here with this individual perhaps they're unavailable sometimes or they're making they're not really connecting the way that you want them to here and it's really difficult they may be out here with friends perhaps you will be as well star in reverse aquarius coming through you may realize this person's not what you dreamt of or what you thought they would be but either way, there's a lesson to be learned here. And maybe you guys may still be friends for some of you, okay? For others here, okay? You are going to take this into a new direction here. And you're no longer uh, doing any some sort of funny business, okay? You mean serious love at this point now. So if they're not prepared to meet you at that point, you're willing to let go and not put in uh, all this effort into this individual and energy that you don't have anymore for, for them, okay? So that's a possibility there for a lot of you Tauruses. Let's see what else is coming through here. Let's find out the hidden truth here for Taurus, please. Universe, what is a hidden truth here for Taurus, please, for the month of March? Finding out the truth crushed me. Okay. That could be you or them thinking about that. That may be your point of decision regarding this person, whether or not you want to continue things, okay? You may find that this person, something about them, like I said earlier with the four of wands in reverse, like you don't see it being something long-term for some reason or whatever. 
And here we are again with the three of wands in reverse here. You're not really seeing potential for the future here. And that kind of disturbs you a bit. You like the stability here, Taurus. And if you can't see that stability, then maybe even though you two like each other and are attracted to each other, it may just be a connection that you have to let go. All right. Let's see what messages of love are coming through here for Taurus, please. Messages of love for Taurus, please. Messages of love for Taurus, please. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Just like we mentioned earlier with the uh, temperance card, things will be happening in due time for you when the universe wants it to happen, okay? Everything does happen for a reason, which this could potentially send you off into your actual soulmate. So for a lot of you, don't feel defeated about this situation. And for others, if you feel that this is your person... Okay, everything does happen for a reason. If there, if you mean business and you want commitment and you want more uh, stability from this person, then they're going to have to try to make that happen with you. And if it doesn't, then you're going to make the call yourself. Okay, Taurus? All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed the reading. I uh, will be back again soon with another video. Thanks for watching here till the end, Taurus. I really appreciate it. And bye for now.